It's Blockbusters with your host, Simon Mayo. Hello and welcome again to Blockbusters. To my right, the board, which is the heartbeat of the show. To my left are three players. Two versus one have to make a connection across the board by answering general knowledge questions. Our solo player, top to bottom, white to white. Our pair, across the board, blue to blue. It's the best of three and the victor hopes to make it onto the legendary gold run. At the end of our last show, new contenders Fiona and James, boyfriend and girlfriend, sweethearts no less, from Manchester, were giving Ryan our reigning champion from Hull a run for his money. They were one game and one hexagon up. Let's continue with our second game. Let's play Blockbusters. <laughs> Fiona and James, it was your choice of letter. Where are we going to go? Uh, may I have an F, please, Simon? What F is the main body of an aircraft? James. The fuselage. Fuselage is right, yes, well done. Second X in there, where next? Uh, may I have a B? What B is the Derbyshire town that gives its name Ryan? Buxton. It's the wrong answer. Let me give you the full question to Fiona and James, no conferring. What B is the Derbyshire town that gives its name to a famous pudding made of pastry, jam and almonds? <coughs> yes, Fiona. Bakewell. Bakewell is the right answer, yes. <laughs> Three hexagons on the board. Um, please, may I have a P? What P is a French word for rotten pot, used in English, Ryan? Potpourri. Used in English to mean a mixture of scented dried flowers, potpourri, potpourri, yes, that's mine. <laughs> well, Ryan, you're on the board, where would you like to go next? S, please, Simon. What S is a seed used in cooking, a magic... James. Sesame. A magic password and Big Bird Street on TV. Sesame is right, well interrupted. <laughs> and you choose the next hexagon. That's right. What do you think, my love? H. May I have an H, please, Simon? I think throughout the whole series, we haven't had anyone say, where would you like to go next, my love? <laughs> I know I forgot Can where I you wanted to go. H, please. H. My love. <laughs> what H, named after a Greek physician, is the oath taken by... Hippocratic. Fiona. Hippocratic is the right answer, yes, taken by doctors. <laughs> Make sure they observe a code of medical right. ethics. And we have a flashing blue board with trouble for off? Ryan, our reigning champion, who needs to be sharp here. Fiona and thinking. James, it's your choice. May we have a D, please? What D does the pupil of the eye do? <laughs> James. Dilate. Does the pupil of the eye do in the dark? Dilate is the right answer. Well done, and that is Blockbusters. Enjoy that picture, Thank you. Well done, Fiona and James. Uh, a famous victory, Ryan. And then that's the end of uh, that's the end of a memorable. <laughs> yes, a I memorable think I made it. Game. <laughs> have you had a good time? I've had an, had an absolute ball. So, Ryan, amongst the prizes, then, you have a very fantastic and exciting uh, trip to a muddy field in, in North Yorkshire, which I know you're looking forward to very much. Uh, you also have the computer tablet, which will help you in your geography coursework. Uh, you take away one of these, which is our e-reader, uh, plus the small matter of the money, which is, I think, the main yeah, thing. Yeah, one of the main reasons. Nice spending money to take to Tenerife on your field trip. £295, Ryan, congratulations. It's been great having you on the show. Thanks for playing Blockbuster. Thank you, Simon. Thank you. So, Fiona and James, it's uh, gold run time. And I hate to split you up. No. no? Well, you know, you can't... You're inseparable. But one of you is <laughs> going to have to do this. Who's it going to be? Uh, it's going to be me, Simon. Why? I'm too frightened. <laughs> <laughs> well, it may well be that you get your chance as well. Uh, but, James, if you're ready, and for the first time, put yourself on the hotspot. <laughs> James, is your first gold run board. You have 60 seconds to make your way across, connecting left to right, gold to gold. If you make it to the other side, you'll win the first gold run prize. You can pass on any question, and your time starts as soon as you tell me where you'd like to begin. Uh, CP, please. Where cappuccinos get made in the sitcom Friends. Um, Central Perk. Yes. DG. A smooth, mild, orange-red cheese that you might eat in southwest England. TMR. J. 
children's television program featuring Brian and Ermintrude. The Midnight... The midnight is wrong. Ah. Uh, oh. Uh, LG, then. Why not? The funny name by which nitrous oxide is Laughing more commonly gas, known. Laughing gas, YK. A Jewish festival... John Jewish... Kippur. Yes. SD. Circular and fixed up high outside, enabling viewers to watch TV. Satellite dish, yes. WO. Forecasters give information about this on a daily basis and longer term. Weather outlook. Yes. AYC. I'm willing to do what you want me to do because I'm... Uh, oh. Oh, oh, fiddle. Oh, five. <laughs> <laughs> How close was that? One of those things. One of those things. Oh, fiddle, oh, five. Yes, yeah, sorry. It's <laughs> one of those things. <laughs> well, that's a very mild way of, uh, of expressing disappointment. You were very, very close at the end, because it was, it was all over the place to start with. Yeah. Then you had that late surge on to the last line and AYC. We'll find out what that means in just a moment. You passed on three. A smooth, mild orange-red cheese that you might eat in southwest England. Double Gloucester. Oh, of course. Children's television programme featuring Brian and Ermintrude, The Magic Roundabout. Oh, my word, my mother is going to murder me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Oh, the shame. I don't think, I don't think you're going to get home, I think. <laughs> yeah. is oh, I'm a so bit sorry. Upset. I'm so sorry, my love. <laughs> sorry. I'm willing to do what you want me to do because I'm at your command. Oh, um, no, fiddle faddle. Yes. <laughs> We're learning so many new and usable <laughs> broadcast cuss words tonight. <laughs> uh, but so you didn't make it through, so we do add money because you got five correct, so we add fifty pounds to your total. Oh, James, yeah. you may well come back again. Who's to say? Thank you very much indeed for playing and back to your seat. Thank you, sir. So as James returns to face the possible wrath of Fiona. Let's meet the next player who wishes to take on the challenge of the Blockbusters board. Please welcome Chris from Hertfordshire. <laughs> All right, Chris. Uh, Fiona and James, our current champions, you're very welcome to the show. Thank you very it's much. It's good to have you here. You're a web developer. Yes. I thought that was a spider. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, that's what it deserved. You're absolutely right. Tell us about the job. People often get... A web developer confused with a web designer and I don't have an artistic bone in my body so I develop it's like the mechanic behind a car right if That's, that makes uh, any sense not not really no no <laughs> <laughs> would right. it be fair enough to say you're a geek I like to DJ as well <laughs> <laughs> I, DJ I and geek yeah, OK, then. That, that's fair enough. Okay. Fair enough. Well, you're clearly incredibly smart and super intelligent. How come you're a Watford fan? <laughs> <laughs> I was born next to the ground, therefore it's in my blood. I think that is a very, very good reason as well. Listen, Chris, it's great to have you on the show. Cheers. Uh, you're up you. against some uh, top champions here. <laughs> that's my word for it. Yeah. And, uh, and they're clearly having a good time, so we wish you all the best as well. Thank best you very of three, much. as you know, so we'll move on. And here's our next board. We have a V, a flashing V. That's where we're going to start. So let's play Blockbusters. <laughs> so it's Chris playing Fiona and James. What V is the home football ground for Charlton Athletic? Chris. The Valley. The Valley is right. Yes, well done. <laughs> An easy sort of footballing start for you. And you have yes. your first hexagon, which is, uh, always feels good. Where do you yes. want to go next? Um, tea, please. What tea is a range of mountains in Turkey and the second sign of the zodiac? James. Taurus. Taurus is the right answer. Well done, you're on the board too. Uh, may I have a C, please, Simon? Yes. What C, according to the proverb, is the animal whose back is broken by the last straw? Chris? Camel. Camel is right, yes. <laughs> Um, can I go for an M, please? What M are members of the Crow family said to be unlucky if you see only one? James. A uh, magpie. Magpie is exactly right, yes. <laughs> Fast and fur furious. Two white and two blue. Where next? Uh, may I have a B? What B are materials designed to disintegrate naturally when discarded, Chris? Biodegradable. Broken down by sunlight and bacteria, biodegradable is right. <laughs> so, 
So this first game has started at a cracking pace. We'll put it on a pause while we'll take a break. See you soon back in a moment. Welcome back to Blockbusters, where new contender Chris is taking on current champions Fiona and James. We're in the first game, and it's Chris's choice of letter next. Where would you like to go? Uh, J, please. What J goes before evaluation, sharing, description and satisfaction? Fiona. Job. Job is the right answer, yes? I'm going to go for a P. OK. May I have a P, please? What P is a fictitious name used by an author? James. Pen name. Pen name, yes, or pseudonym, I'd accept either. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Your choice of hexagon. Uh, may I have a K? What K is one of the largest of the world's kingfishers, a bird whose laugh is a familiar sound in Australia? Fiona. Kookaburra. Kookaburra is right, yes. <laughs> A flashing blue board, that's what we have. One hexagon away from Blockbuster's pressure on Chris, but it's Fiona and James to choose another one. May we have an F, please? What F describes the city in a walled section of Beijing containing... <coughs> Chris. Forbidden. Containing palaces and formerly closed to the public, hence its name, Forbidden is right. Well done <laughs> and well blocked. <laughs> Still in the game, Chris, but you have... So be careful of that flashing blue ball, which is yes. still there, still active. Um, can I have an R, please? What R means unguided or without method and is used... Fiona. Random. And is used before access for a type of computer memory. Random is right. Well done. <laughs> still a flashing blue ball, and this time it's Fiona and James to choose. Uh, may we have an S, please? What S is a slang term meaning... Utterly exhausted and describes Fiona. Shattered. Describes a broken window. Shattered is right. Yes, well done. That's Blockbusters. <laughs> well done, Fiona and James. Uh, you have triumphed in another game. We haven't mentioned the fact that you are, I think, at heart, both Gilbert and Sullivan enthusiasts. Uh, I am. I'm Fiona not. Fiona likes singing. <laughs> so, so you are? I am, yes. And, and I just got dragged into it because I like singing. So is he Coco to your yum yum? <laughs> you have to ask him, I don't know. <laughs> it's a Mikado reference, obviously. <laughs> we all know See, that. I got Chris knew that. Chris is saying that's the Mikado, we all know that. <laughs> anyway, below, you're doing very well. And Chris, this being the best of three... Yes. It does mean you have to guess, get this next one. Yes. OK. Are we ready? Yes. All right, best of three, we continue. Mm -hmm. Here's the next board. Oh, well, we'll start with a P. Why not? <laughs> Let's play Blockbusters. <laughs> what P is butler and chauffeur to Lady Penelope James? Parker. In Thunderbirds, of course. Parker, yes. Oh, that's a... <laughs> well, he didn't get the magic roundabout earlier, so... Get... <laughs> yeah. Trying to get back with a bit of kids' TV stuff in there. Uh, may I have an M, please, Simon? What M is a small fridge usually found in hotel rooms stocked, Fiona? Minibar. With drinks and sweets. Minibar is what we wanted, yes. Oh, that, 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 that. Very fast. Two blue hexagons on. Chris, you're going to have to really crank up the speed here. Yes. <laughs> Where do you want to go next? Fiona and James. Uh, please, may we have an O? What O comes before well, rig, painting, Chris? Oil. And slick oil is right. Yes, well done. <laughs> On the board, or the, a blocking white hexagon, where next, Chris? Uh, K, please. What K is home to the Royal Botanic Gardens in southwest James? Q. In southwest London, Q is the right answer. <laughs> uh, may I have a D? What D is the common name of I wandered lonely as a cloud? Chris. Just not quick enough. Full question to Fiona and James, no conferring. What D is the common name of I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud, a famous poem by William Wordsworth in which he writes about springtime flowers? Fiona. Daffodils. Daffodils is the right answer. Right? 
And I suspect, Chris, that was exactly what you were thinking. And it, it, it just wouldn't come. Yeah. 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 OK, frustrating Slashing. when that happens. My goodness me, already we have a flashing blue oh, board. Dear. Like lightning, Fiona and James in a big position of advantage. Chris, you're going to have to go some now. Yes. Fiona and James choosing as well. Please, may I have an R? What R is the children's TV series which featured George Zippy, James? Rainbow. Featured George Zippy and Bungle. Rainbow is right, well done, and that is Blockbusters. <laughs> Well done, Fiona and James. Another victory done and dusted. Another kids' TV reference getting it for you. <laughs> uh, Chris, it's been short and sweet, but yes. they are lightning fast when they're pressing that buzzer. Yes, yes. It's been great having you on the show. You don't go away empty-handed, of course, because you are going to take away our consolation prize. Go digital and read all of your favourite books on the move with your Blockbusters e-book, courtesy of LMX. So you take that away and uh, you also take £25 cash, which you've won. Chris, thank you very much indeed for being on the show. Thank you. Thanks for playing Blockbusters. Thank you. So, Fiona and James, it's another gold run. And when we were here last time, Fiona, you said you were too scared, too frightened. Still too scared. Right. <laughs> but the rules of the game say you have to alternate, so it's you, whether you like it or not. Are you ready to go? No. <laughs> okay. Are you prepared to go? I am. All right, put yourself on the hotspot. <laughs> Fiona, it's the second gold run board. You have 60 seconds to make your way across, connecting left to right, gold to gold. If you make it to the other side, you'll win the second gold run prize. You can pass on any question, and your time starts as soon as you tell me where you'd like to begin. NYD. First bank holiday in the calendar. New Year's Day. Yes. RS. Not physically doing this to ease stress or upper body strain, but metaphorically because of mixing socially. NHF. Parting on good terms. WR. England and Manchester United striker. Wayne Rooney. Yes. TE. Controversial British artist appointed professor of drawing at the Royal Academy in December 2011. BH. A public day off with a finance related Bank name. Holiday. Yes. MB. The dictionary states that this is something with both advantages and disadvantages. Might as well take your time working this out. Something with both advantages and disadvantages. Mixed bunch. Mixed is right. Mixed bag. Mixed is right. That's very disappointing. And you, you cut yourself off so you had nowhere else to go. It was worth spending that time uh, trying to get that last hexagon. Uh, you passed on four. Not physically doing this to ease stress or upper body strain, but metaphorically because of mixing socially. It was a long question. And the answer was rubbing shoulders or rub shoulders. Parting on good terms, no hard feelings. Oh. Controversial British artist appointed professor of drawing at the Royal Academy in December 2011, Tracy Emin. And then right at the end, the dictionary states that this is something with both advantages and disadvantages, Mixed blessing. Oh. That's what we wanted. That was a tough gold run. You got three right. We've added £30 to your total. Fiona, thank you very much indeed. Maybe you'll be coming back to do another one. Please take your seat. Thank you. What a shame. Fiona said she was nervous before she even got to the hotspot. Maybe James will get to the third gold run. Time now to introduce a new player to Blockbusters. Please welcome Sarah from Kettering. <laughs> Hello, Sarah. Fiona and James, our current champions. <laughs> and, Sarah, you're a lawyer. Yeah, don't hold it against me. No, 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 no. <laughs> we're a very respected tradition. What area of law do you specialise in? Mainly family and matrimonial. OK. Uh, but... And then you've got this great, great line in, uh, in your bio here. A lawyer who moonlights as a racing driver. Yeah, that's now, right. You know, that's a movie... That's a movie <laughs> waiting to happen straight away. <laughs> so how come you are one of the best female racing drivers in the UK? Well, there's not very many of us to start with. Um, which is one thing. Um, I, I've just been loving racing since 2004. I came to it quite late, didn't do the karting route that most people do. Um, so got into sports cars and tin tops and absolutely love it and uh, take on all the boys. And your favourite car? Porsche. Do you have one? Unfortunately not. I spend okay. all my money racing. <laughs> well, let's see if we can 
add a bob or two to what you have and Thank then uh, and see where we go. You know, it might won't make that much difference if you want a portion. <laughs> it might pay for a tyre. <laughs> but it's very good to have you on the show, Sarah. Uh, it's the best of three, as you know. Uh, we move on. Here's our next board. Flashing M, that's where we go. Let's play Blockbusters. <laughs> Sarah taking on Fiona and James. What M performed the Sticky and Sweet Tour, her eighth worldwide concert? Sarah. Madonna. It was Madonna, eighth worldwide concert tour. <laughs> you have your first hex again. It's all easy from now on. <laughs> Where would you like to go next? Um, F, please, Simon. What F do characters in Star Wars often wish may be with you? <laughs> Fiona. Force. As a way of saying goodbye, force is right, yes. <laughs> And you're on the board as well. Where next, Fiona and James? Oh. Um, may I have an A, please? What A makes the heart grow fonder? Sarah. Absence. Absence is right, yes. And it's your choice, Sarah. Um, H, please. What H was left as a consolation in Pandora's box? Fiona. Hope. Hope is right, yes. So we've only just met Sarah. She's already on the board. It's two hexagons each in the first game, but that's where we're going to have to leave it for now. Join us again next time to find out if two heads are indeed better than one. Thank you for joining us. Goodbye. <laughs>